the universe. Vast, desolate, cold. Still and lifeless, save for a solitary outpost. The planet Earth. Our fragile Eden. A precious, vibrant stone glittering in the cosmic void. How is it that humankind seems so intent on charting a course that would lead to its destruction? Threatening it with the ruthless hand of war, dishonoring it with the grim parade of man's inhumanity to man. It seems at times that we have eaten of a vile root, that we have abandoned reason, leaving too many of us with the belief that peace on earth is unattainable. A dream, dreamed by a fool. But it is from such dreams that hope is born, and men of courage draw their strength. I thought you were covering my flank, Arn. In this fog, I'm lucky to have found you at all. Well, I believe the luck was mine. Thank you, my friend. You saved my life. Over here, Rowan! Oh, I thought you might be needing this. Where are Gawain and Bryant? They're out there somewhere. The barbarians are retreating. My guess is they're regrouping. Then so should we. It seems so long ago that we left Camelot to come and fight in this forlorn place. I've lost track of time. I don't even know what day it is. <sighs> it's December 23rd. What a lovely place to spend Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, my love. Happy holidays. Arthur and I are so pleased that Princess Alita has sent you to be with us for Christmas. Thank you, Your Highness. I am grateful for the chance to visit Camelot and to bring you holiday greetings not only from King Hugo and Princess Alita, but from all of us who dwell in the Misty Isles. You seem to be looking for someone. Would it be Prince Valiant by any chance? Oh, well, yes, I... Well, Princess Alita asked that I give him her personal holiday greetings. I have had to dispatch Valiant and the other knights to North Gallus. War has broken out between our allies there and their neighbors in Lindum. But we are confident that they will return safely and hopefully in time for the Christmas celebrations. Come along. I'll show you to your quarters. Excuse me, sire. Yes, Dennis. I was wondering. Now that the festivities have officially begun, should I ring in the beginning of the holiday season? No, Dennis. Until Valiant and the other knights have returned home to Camelot, the bells will remain silent. Yes, Your Highness. I understand. Here now, this is no time for melancholy. Go along and join the others in the banquet hall. The bells will be ringing soon enough. That is my hope and my prayer. This is madness. This battle could go on forever. Whoever occupies the land at the moment claims it as his own until it is reclaimed by the other side. Oh, don't these people see the futility of it all? I believe they do. I've seen it in their eyes as they lie dying. Jeez. 
cheer up, you two. Look what I found. Blackberries. It's not a Christmas pie, but it is a start. But blackberries are out of season. Where did you ever find them? Just beyond that ridge. I'm going to think of them as our own little Christmas miracle. They're attacking again. It's a nasty bruise, Valiant. It's more than a bruise, Brian. My arm is just about useless. You were lucky not to have broken it, Rowan. Knights of Camelot, I trust your injuries are not too severe. We will survive, Key Weldon. I gather you have met my son, Thomas. Oh, we didn't have time for a formal introduction. He was too busy saving my life. It was my privilege, ma'am. Ma'am? I must look as old as I feel right now. Mm. Your shoulder is dislocated, sir. What are you doing? Oh. How did you do that? I must thank you. Thomas, you fixed my arm. You saved Rowan's life, and now you want to thank me? Yes, for coming here and helping us fight. Helping us to keep the armies of Lindum from overrunning the sanctuary. That's it, up there. That's where the relic is kept locked away. The relic? Yes, it symbolizes the right to rule. Whoever has it owns this land. It has been that way for more generations than anyone can remember. That's why we're at war now. <sighs> it seems we've always been at war. I don't understand. You mean this war is over nothing more than the possession of a relic? And to think, this was to be our first Christmas together in Camelot. My father will be lighting the Yule log right about now in Bridgeford. <laughs> and mother will be after him about spreading ashes all over hearth and home. How can this be Christmas, Rowan? How can we be at war in the season of peace? and the others will return, Lady Daniela. I'm afraid worrying about it will do you no good. But, Your Majesty, Princess Alita gave me strict orders to find Prince Valiant and to give him the message she sent with me. Please, if you would be so kind, allow me to go to North Gallus. There is no need for that, my dear. He's probably on his way home already. If you say so, Your Majesty. seem a bit inappropriate, Merlin, to be celebrating Christmas while the fate of our knights is so uncertain. This holiday is very special to Camelot, Arthur. 
Have you forgotten that it was on Christmas Day that you pulled Excalibur from the stone? No, I have not forgotten. You brought the light of hope into a dark world on that day, Arthur. We can no more abandon the celebration of Christmas than we can abandon hope itself. Hope is all we have now. Hope that Valiant and the others will put an end to this senseless violence. That they will soon find their way home to Camelot. For you. Have you? It's about Prince Valiant. Has he returned? No, my lady. It's something he said I was to give to you the moment you arrived. You are to take it to Princess Alita for him. But in the excitement and everything, I forgot. Oh, Dennis, you are such a dear boy. What is it? Uh, uh, what's what, ma'am? Prince Valiant's message. Oh, yes. Uh, he said he wanted Princess Alita to have this and that I was supposed to give it to you, just in case he didn't get back in time to do it himself. Oh, it's so beautiful. They must be very much in love. Maybe seeing a relic will change your mind about the rightness of our cause, Prince Valiant. Perhaps. But I cannot believe that any object is worth the amount of blood that has been shed. I cannot remember a time that my people were not at war with the people of Lindum. Before King Arthur, the people of Camelot lived as you do, constantly fighting, but it never changed anything. And King Arthur has put an end to that? How? He has a dream, Thomas. It's called the New Order. It's a way of life where might does not make right, where people live by truth and justice, not by the sword. What a wonderful notion that is, Valiant. If we could only live that way here. It's the call to battle. The Lindum armies are attacking again. Come on. We've got to get back, Valiant. With the lighting of these candles, we signal the coming of the Christmas spirit. And we pray that it will remain in our hearts for all the year. Peace to all. Peace to all. Death to Lindum. They're firing just beyond the tree line. We have to stop the bombardment. Follow me, we'll attack from behind. Father. The men are awaiting your orders, Your Majesty. My... my orders? You are king now, Thomas. The course of the battle is in your hands. 
It is in your power to stop the killing now. The choice is yours. But I can't just... This is our life, Valiant. We are warring tribes. The ideas of Camelot could never work here. There is one way to find out. What say you, Your Majesty? How do you wish to avenge the death of your father? I say we double our forces and rout the barbarians once and for all. I agree, arm women and children if need be! Silence! There has been enough killing. We will send an emissary to the barbarians. We must put an end to this destruction. Let my father's blood be the last to be spilled. You are only a boy, Thomas. Perhaps you are not ready to rule in your father's place. I am sorry, Thomas, but with you or without you, we will avenge your father's death. To arms, men. Death to Lindum. Valiant. They have lost all reason. What more can I do? How can we ever find peace when the fires of hatred rage out of control in the hearts of such men? There must be a way, Thomas. And we must find it soon. Oh, God help us all. It, Merlin. It is so peaceful here. People are fighting and dying. It's Christmas Eve. Can't they even stop for that? War becomes a kind of addiction for some, Dennis. A violent drug which leaves its victims only able to live in battle and feed on danger. How will it ever stop then? Mm, how indeed. to fight again. How long can this craziness last? The sooner we get on with it, the sooner we can see the last of this godforsaken place. I've been thinking about what you said, Valiant, and I've made my choice. I can no longer be a party to this carnage, but I'm gonna need your help. King Arthur's allegiance was to your father, and mine is to you. What is it you need of me, Thomas? I need you to risk your very life. Mark your targets! Fire! Without armor, hold your fire. We are warriors, not murderers. Hold! Peace! 
people of North Gallus and people of Lindum, we have been at war far too long. Our soil is stained with the blood of the innocent. Our homes lie in devastation and our families are scattered and broken. And we've done it all in the name of this. A book. A book that has lain unopened for so long that no one alive today can even recall what it says. Let it be decreed that this land belongs to no one king or another. That this land belongs to the people. And that it shall be the shelter and domain of those who dwell upon it in peace. Christmas, your highnesses. Please accept this as the gift of the people of the Misty Isles to you. And know that my thoughts and prayers are with the soldiers of Camelot today. I bring you tidings of hope, your majesties. For at this moment, there is peace on earth. who call that notion the province of fools, nothing but a dream. And if that is so, then let us become dreamers, one and all. <laughs> <laughs> 